Welcome to the We Are T1D podcast. The realest type 1 diabetes podcast online. Hosted by myself, Mike, diagnosed at the age of 10. And myself, Jack, diagnosed at the age of 30. We are just two mates giving you an insight into life with this chronic condition. Yes, we are adults and although we try not to swear, it may happen occasionally. (laughs) Yeah, as Jack said, we are adults. But please take what we say as guidance and not medical advice. No, trust me, we are not doctors. (laughs) We are just here to make sure no type 1 diabetic ever, ever feels alone. Welcome back to the We Are T1D podcast. And we really hope you enjoyed the video episode. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) If you haven't seen it yet, go to youtube.com slash at We Are T1D and check it out. You'll see me and Jack live in the flesh. Yes, and make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're there, please. And if you want to keep up yourself updated, hit the little notification bell as well. Ding dong! (laughs) 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 All right. So, Jack, how's your week been, mate? My my week's been pretty boring, mate, to be honest. Pretty normal. I I ain't ain't really done a lot. Just um, work, home. Dinner, bed, that's pretty much it. Nothing really exciting's happened. Nothing really bad's happened, which is a good thing, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's a good thing. Pretty similar to my week, really. I had a, I, I had a very naughty takeaway on the weekend, and um, that really messed up my blood sugars. What did you have? I had a kebab. A kebab? A kebab. It was a rather large kebab. Oh, yeah. Uh, I also had chips. I also had some hot wings, and I also had a protein yogurt, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. Did you want anything else? <laughs> no, I, I probably could have eaten more, but I didn't like, I didn't fancy it. But no, they stayed pretty steady afterwards. I think I injected like 15 units for it. The kebab was huge, bro. No, I had, I had dinner the other night, and I think in total, I'd done 28 units. Oh, okay. Well, if you're yeah, if you're talking totals, I um, I calculated it up. I think I had done fifteen up front, mm. then done another eight. Then uh, I got woken up again two hours after I fell asleep, and then I think I done another seven. So what's that? Thirty. But but yeah, but yeah, about that. Yeah, and I still woke up at like actually no, I think I woke up in range, but it literally just come in range at about six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I think at the peak, I was like 19 going straight up. Wow. Yeah, that was like mine. It just wouldn't go down. It's like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, I had that last night as well. I don't know what happened last night, but I didn't really have... I had an omelette for dinner, bruv. Like, it's nothing fucking... And I had it early as well. Mm. You have cheese in it? Yeah, but not a lot. Uh. Not a lot. It was literally ham, bit of cheese, uh, egg, yeah, eggs. I'm glad you put egg in your omelette. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, well, I don't know whether it was just a hormone thing or I, I, I don't love to say diabetes is just does what it wants sometimes. Oh, this is so random. But you know me, I always throw my random shit in. Yeah, I like the randomness. You go for it. Random, random, random fact. Do you have brown or white eggs? Oh, what? Like the shell? Yeah. Oh, it depends what ones I buy. Right, would you not buy them if they're a certain colour? No. I don't buy them if they're not free range. Yeah, well, well, at work, right, we're only getting white eggs at the moment. And people are like, why are they white? I'm not buying them, they're white. I'm like, the hen has white feathers. Are you racist to fucking hens? (laughs) (laughs) I said, that's why it's white. I said, everything inside the egg is still a chicken. It's still the same. It's still the same. Oh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't discriminate against eggs. As I say, I, 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 I will only buy free ranged eggs. I won't, I, I, I won't buy caged hens because I think they taste different. Yeah, bit of metal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah. I'd, yeah, looks wise, I'd add whatever. Bit, bit of shit on the shelf is even better, bro. I love it. Oh, a bit of green. Hmm. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Yeah, no, I just thought I'd throw that in because obviously we talk about eggs quite a lot. Well, you do. Yeah, we do. We love an egg. I love an egg. But, but yeah, guys, I'm going to put a poll up on Spotify for this one. 
do you discriminate against your eggs? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, but yeah. Sunday, Zoe cooked a massive, massive roast dinner. Do you know what the roast dinner was really good? But do you know what the best part was? What, what was it? I had a cream slice. Creamy slice? A cream slice, bro. You know, the little pastry ones with the little crisscrossy icing on the top and the la- little thin layer of jam. And then it's about like two inches thick of just cream. Yeah. You have to pull it apart. You pull it apart and you have to lick the cream out first. <laughs> Are you trying to seduce me? <laughs> was it that nice? <laughs> oh, it was good, bro. It was so good. I savoured every single last little piece of that. It was so good. And do you know what? That didn't affect me nowhere near as bad as what the fucking kebab did the time before. <laughs> oh, I had a roast and I showed you a picture of it, didn't I? Yeah, it did look good. It looked good. <laughs> I couldn't finish it. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I've got, I've got, I've actually got not a fear, but I'm always weary and cautious about that. When I'm eating a big meal, I think <laughs> like when you're injecting quite a lot of insulin, you think you, you need to make sure you fucking eat everything you've injected for. Yeah, but like to things to get your sugar up, they don't really fill you up. So it ain't like major. Like you can literally have some apple juice. Yeah, like a drink or something. Yeah, it's easy. It's easily managed. But as I say, it's, uh, that was especially when I first got diagnosed. That was always like, a, oh shit, I better eat everything I've injected for. Yeah, I'm only like that if I don't want to share my food. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've injected for that. You can't have any. Yeah, oh, you're gonna make me go hypo. Put my chip back. That's that's the, that's the only time you've weighed your food. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who said sharing is caring, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but then you can use going low as an excuse and nick everyone else's food. It's great. Yes, it's so good. <laughs> Diabetes card again, guys. <laughs> yes, Rob, we love it. <laughs> well, I've started a new game at work. Uh, there's a satay chicken, so you get a packet of 10. Mm. They're never the right number. <laughs> you sent me a picture of that the other week, didn't you? Mm. I said count the sticks. Yeah, you, yeah, but I didn't clock, did I? You just sent me a picture of loads of empty cocktail sticks. Yeah. So I was just thought you were just sending me a picture of some chicken satays. It was like half nine in the morning. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bro, that's a healthy breakfast, isn't it? And about two hours later, you messaged me, just said, count the sticks. <laughs> yeah, I got three extra sticks. And then uh, Callum got 11. Um, my governor got 11. And then today I got 10. I was really disappointed. Oh. And then there's uh, Daniel at work, right? <laughs> he goes, he messaged tonight and he goes, I forgot, they've run out, haven't they? They've run out. He goes, I forgot the other day and today they've run out. <laughs> I might buy him a packet and leave it in the fridge and say, mate, they're in there, count them. <laughs> I'll leave one in there and say, cool, your packet was short. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I haven't really been eating... That, but I've been eating quite good this week, to be honest. Yeah, I've had my meal preps. Uh, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I just, I didn't eat bad. I just ate too much. Yeah. yeah. That, well, no. Cream slice ain't exactly good, is it, brother? And I think I had like a Snickers as well. And... well. It's not bad. I had a yummy. Ooh, they are good. I've, fi- I've finally finished my um, antibiotics course as well. I feel a lot better. Did that affect your sugars? I was very resistant. Okay, so just longer pre-bolus and all that malarkey. Yeah, like very long. Like the mornings are... Um, I don't know, I think my ratios were thrown out a little bit as well because I was sometimes injecting... I wake up in the morning and I pretty much, nearly every morning, do about six units. Because mm. my, as I say, my morning, morning glory always gets me. Every single morning it gets me. Yeah. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm always going to be eating some sort of breakfast. Yeah. That's always like a couple of slices of toast or something. So that's usually about three or four units. Yeah. So um, I've been injecting normal, like seven units, waking up. As I say, sugars are shooting up every morning. Yeah. It starts to come down about an hour. Like literally it takes about an hour to even start even working. As soon as I eat one slice of toast, fucking like a rocket takeoff, bruv, straight away. That's exactly how I am, but on weekends. 
And it's like, I'm looking at it like, bruv, I've injected enough to cover myself for 70 grams of carbohydrates. Yeah. And I have eaten probably about 14 grams. Mm. And it's just gone fucking mental. And that's, that's like an hour, hour and a half pre-bolus. What? Yeah, I inject. Well, I wake up at five in the morning, about between five and quarter past five. Yeah. I usually inject at six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. About, as I say, like six or seven units. And that usually does not work. Well, it hasn't been, sorry, should I say, with these antibiotics till about seven o'clock when I'm actually, like, I have to take my toast on a plate in the truck with me on the way to work. Oh, so wow. I can eat it on the way to work. Because if I was to eat it at home, It'd just be I. Any earlier than that. It, yeah. it literally just instantly just skyrocket. That's fucked. I think, do you know what? I, I don't, oh, what? I, 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 we are not doctors. So <laughs> um, I don't know exactly what it is, but maybe I'm just stabbing in the dark here. I drink a lot of coffee. So I'm thinking my cortisol levels are going to be high all the time, especially when I wake up. So that could be why I always get the spike in the morning. Possibly. You drink coffee in the morning? Not first thing, no. Not until about, I'd say, nine o'clock, eight o'clock. Yeah, I don't know. Or I might just be a very hormonal person. You might be very horn- hormonal, sorry, person. <laughs> <laughs> My morning glory has actually sorted itself out. Like The odd morning I have to do three units, but in general I won't have to do anything. As I say, I'm, I'm resistant in the mornings, but lunchtime is fucking like that, bruv, quick. Obviously, because I'm at work, because I'm active, moving around. So that, that hypo today was because I injected it and got sidetracked. Yeah, see, it's weird. If, um, if I pre-bolus my breakfast, I go hypo. Oh, wow. If I inject on the dot, it'll raise me about three. Sometimes it'll get me up to about 11. Yeah. And then I'll be straight back down and... Shh. But if I pre-bonus, oh, wow. I'm screwed. Yeah, I'm, I'm always moaning my insulin ain't sensitive enough. Where the problem is, my portion sizes. Yes, I've, we've discussed this plenty of times, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just going in circles, really, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, mashed potato. If I, if I was to have mashed potato, mm. would it, would, how, what, how do you measure it? Just... Two dollops or something. Two? Four? <laughs> <laughs> if I have mash, I have no more than a 250 gram portion. I can tell you the grams. That's, I don't know. It's, and it has milk obsessed. in it, it has butter in it. So it's like a little handful. Mash. About that much. Yeah, that's, that's like a mountain. Oh yeah, with gravy. <laughs> <laughs> like a volcano. Sometimes I put my sausages in it. Make, make a stegosaurus. <laughs> my my mum used to make them when I was a kid. She used to make big mound of mashed potato, cut the sausages up into little bits, and poke it all in the mashed potato, and there'd be sausage hedgehogs. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I do it for myself. <laughs> yes, and then uh, put beans around the outside. So that's like grass. Oh, I don't have beans. So I'm quite good with that. I love beans. Uh, mash and gravy with onions. Beans are a very good source of protein, mate. Mm, so is meat. It is, it is. But yeah, uh, my week, nothing eventful has happened in my week. I don't even know if I spoke about it or not. No, you spoke about your chicken satties. That was about it. That's the highlight of my week. Chicken satties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I've always, I've, I'm in range quite a lot now. So it's like, there's nothing eventful. It's like, when everything's going good, you've got nothing to talk about. It's when everything's going wrong, you've got shitloads to talk about. That is very true. But then... Well, it's not good for our listeners. <laughs> no. <laughs> but not having any diabetes-related stories for the week is uh, surely a good sign, because like you say, it means you've been in range. Yeah, I did rage bolus at one point, though. Uh, I think I hypoed... Ooh, I think I had one the other day, and it was quite bad. I can't remember what day it was. I went down to 2.3 on my one. I just got the ump. Because <laughs> that's what I've noticed as well. Where I'm in range a lot now, you know the signs of being like aggy and that when you're high? Yeah. I get it. Bang on 10 now. Yeah, or you're like me, bruv. That's what I'm literally instantly, as soon as I hit sort of 10 and above, I can feel it in my eyes. Yeah. 
Zoe, everyone says I like I blink. That's how Zoe knows when I'm soon like that's my eye straight away. She says like you're high. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we 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 we're doing video call, guys. So <laughs> sorry, you yeah, can't we can see, see this. we we can see each other. So it's, Michael's just being a normal idiot. He is. Yep, as always. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I've got. I had um a low, an angry low the other day. An angry low. Yeah, that was bad. Like, I just got the ump. Like I was getting confused in situations, and I weren't sure what I'm saying either. And then mm. like it's turned into an argument like with me and my missus. It weren't like a big argument. It's just we don't argue, so it it hurts. You just you snap in, didn't you, for no reason? Yeah, like, and, then, like, and I'm like, why am I being a dick? Why? Why? And then I'm like, why did we even argue? It's like fuck's sake, I'm such an idiot. And I, I got all the self hate again, and I was like getting down, and I was like fucking mm. hell. So the mental health of diabetes, right? It's no joke. It ain't a joke because i felt shitty for about five hours yeah yeah although 100%. we was talking again and fine i still felt bad uh, yeah 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 but anyway well talking about being in range let's oh. put it to the test let's put it to the test what time is it mike pit time it, it's tit time yeah oh, i forgot about that it <laughs> is tit time you're right bro get your tits out i'm trying <laughs> my Tit this week is 83%. Is it? Yeah, well, have you beat me? Have you beat me? I can't see it. 87! Yes, Mike! Nah. I'm like, do you know what? No, nah, I'm proud of you, bro. Smashed it. Well done. Fucking great tits here. Right here. Yes, bro. Ugh. That is a great, lovely set of tits, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you could only see what I could see. <laughs> I think they can guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's wicked, mate. That's wicked. I'm, yeah, fair play. You've actually beat me for once. It's a very rare sight, that is. Yeah, because I'm actually trying. Well, keep trying, bro. Keep trying. It's all right. I'll go under 80 next week. Why? don't know. I'm off. I'm off work. Ah, <laughs> uh, treats. Yeah. Ooh. Very naughty. Naughty treats. But yeah, no, yes, as I say, I've my time in range has been amazing. That's good, mate. Or time in target. That's good. Sorry. Is there anything major you're doing different or uh, portion sizes. That that is it's not even what I'm eating, it's just how much I'm eating. That's the difference. Because mm. your body struggles to handle it's like lift up fifty kilos or lift up twenty. You're gonna yeah. deal with twenty kilos easier. Yeah, of course you've got. And you can eat twenty kilos multiple times. But 50 kilos, you're going to only get a few reps out of it. That is a really cool analogy I've just made up. That is, that is my, I've, I've very well done. There you go. Well done. My, my hat is literally off to you. Oh, put it back on. Um, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> but um, yeah, that, that is literally it. Like, you, you should, uh, yeah, it's just everything's easier in smaller portions. Anything you want to do in life, just take smaller steps at doing it. Don't fucking just go all out because it don't work. Don't buy off more than you can chew. Yeah, exactly. Unless you've got someone helping you. No, don't share, don't share food. Oh, yeah. Injected for that. Anyways, as you can see, we've both got great tits again this week. Or well, as you can hear, sorry, not see. This one ain't video. <laughs> yeah. So let's go into the listener wins. We put out the story extremely late again because we're terrible. We do, we are sorry. We're busy doing new video stuff. Yeah, we had to learn to edit video. Well, I I've actually learned now. Jack has to re like. I have to teach him at the weekend. It's gonna be so cute. Yeah, yeah, you do have to teach me. I have um, <laughs> I can chop. I can do some chops yeah, and add some little transitions and that. But anything else, I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the one that went out, I done yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll let you take the credit for it, bruv. You go for it. That's fine. That's fine. I am an absolute novice. I am unless there's a PlayStation or I'm recording music or making beats, don't talk to me about PCs and computers. I have no clue. Computer says no. It it literally does, and so does Jack. Jack says <laughs> no. <laughs> 
What does this button do? Yeah, that's what I'm scared of doing, bro. Press something and then it all goes boof. Like, oh, shit. Do you know how many times I've done that when I was learning to do like beats and that? Got all the way through, spent hours on it, push one button, gone. That's why, you, um, just remember Control S, it saves. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's, it's a shortcut. All, all, all software. <laughs> But yeah, right. So, listener win time. Yo, let me begin because it's time for the listener win. You and them bloody jingles. I just want to hear the wins. Let's hear it. Right. So, first up, we have Harrison. He goes, Just an episode going out is a win for me. You'll always have my support. Oh, thank you, Harrison. Thank you, bro. Oh, yeah, because we said last week, didn't we? He's always winning. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. that, man. So yeah, next up we have got Megan, and she says my tit dropped, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, always be proud of your tits, Megan. It's fine. Yeah, up, down, or perky. <laughs> yeah, <it's> a... <laughs> <laughs> so next we got Beth. First long hike with an Omnipod. Not out of range for a whole walk. Well done. Wicked. And then she goes, but not, but we're not mentioned the hypos proceeding for the evening and sleep. No, we won't mention uh-huh. it. Your secret no, is safe no. with us. <laughs> it definitely is. <laughs> well done for that. Yeah, the ex- exercise always gets you later. It does. It does. So next up, we have got Stephanie and she says, Started the Omnipod 5 with the Freestyle Libra Plus. Ooh, a plus. Ooh. Well done. What is the I hope plus? you get on well with it. I don't, I don't know. I've not heard of a plus. Loads of people on the Omnipods as well, aren't they? I know. I think we might have to do it soon. Just to mm. jump on the T1D train. Choo nah. choo. Here come the Omnipod. Whoop whoop. Omni, Omnipod. <laughs> whoop whoop. <laughs> right, next up we've got Louise W. My amazing tits back. Ninety-two <laughs> percent. <92%. laughs> yes, Louise. They are great tits. Wicked, lovely tits. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get in so much trouble soon. <laughs> oh, no, these two are perverts. If someone listens to this podcast out of context, we're fucked. <laughs> but that's what makes it funny. <laughs> Uh, and last up, as I said, we put the story out late. We do apologize. So last up this week is Maria. And she says, been enjoying the stable sugars overnight after finding out using an expired long lasting. Oh, <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Good to stay stable. Yeah. That makes me want to check the dates on my pens. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not. I'm good, bruv. I know I'm good. I keep a, I keep a good rotation of mine. Wait, I nearly run out the other day, so mine are definitely all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you got it. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, we're going to start putting out win stories at the weekend, all right? Because we're terrible, and we know there's a lot more to celebrate than what we've shared. <laughs> yeah, 100%. So to make sure you get involved. I yeah. know you all see the stories. Mm, it tells us. <laughs> it does. <laughs> So now, yeah, make sure you keep involved with all the wins. Make sure you keep sending in your stories for the Wednesdays. Uh, like I say, I hope you are enjoying the video format and the video Wednesday episodes now. Make sure you go and subscribe. Hit yep. the notification bell. Keep liking. Keep sharing. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep staying amazing. And we shall see you back again. Same time, same place on Wednesday. And guys, don't forget to leave a review on the podcast and help us grow. We're switching hosts very, very, very soon. And Apple, you might get affected a little bit. We're going to try our best that it don't affect you and our, your listening capabilities, but mm. it may happen temporarily. But Spotify users, you're fine. Yeah, and YouTube. And YouTube. So make sure... Don't forget the YouTube. I thought you were going to do an EastEnders outro then. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do it, Jack!